Specific functions. We need to take up the concavity. It's intercept to intercept the main range vertex. The concavity, because it is positive, it will be upward. Then the x-intercepts, we're going to get it with a general formula, and they are minus 1 and, and minus 5. As an interval is minus 1, 0, minus 5, 0. Then we're going to get the y-intercept, and it's an independent term, so it is positive 5. The domain, it will be in... Well, the domain will need to do the graph, but the range in quadratic functions will always be minus infinite to positive infinity. And the vertex we're going to cut it by like um, two divided no sorry um, corta minus two sorry minus b minus b divided by two so minus b b is the second term minus six divided two times 1 is the A, so minus 6 divided by 2, we are going to do it with a calculator, minus 6 divided by 2 is going to be minus 3, minus 3, so the vertex will be minus 3, and uh, then we are going to graph, okay, the graph, we are going to do like this, now we need to put the x intercepts, minus 1 and 5, minus 1, and minus 5, the y-intercept is equal to 5 positive, 5, and we are going to graph. The vertex needs to be minus 3, here, here, minus 3. Concavity, upward, so here the domain will be from minus 3, from minus 3, to the positive infinite. Thank you. Yes. This is a quadratic function and we're gonna graph it. But to graph it, we need to find the vertex form. And to find the vertex form, first we need to find the x-axis of the vertex. To find the x-axis of the vertex, we're going to do the formula negative b over 2a. And to find these numbers, first we need to see the function which a equals to negative 2, b equals to 2, and c equals 1. Now we put the numbers on the formula and we have negative 2 over 2, negative 2. This is equal to negative 2 over negative 4, which is equal to 1 half. Okay, this is going to be equal to the x-axis of the vertex. Now we need to find the y-axis of the vertex, and to find it we need to put it f 1 half equals to negative 2 one half square plus two one half plus one yeah okay so the uh, one half squared is equal to one fourth this is going to be equal to one plus one then this is going to be equal to 0.5 nearly and plus 1 plus 1 is going to be equal to 1.5 this is going to be the y axis of the vertex Now with these numbers we can find the vertex form and the vertex form is fx equals to a parenthesis x minus h plus parenthesis then square plus k. 
So we put now the numbers, these numbers, on the formula. It's going to give us negative two x minus one half squared plus three twos. Now with this formula, we can determine if the graph is going to be wider or narrower and now we're able to graph the graph okay with these two coordinates we can find the vertex this is the x one half and this is the y three half then we put this in the graph right here this is x and this is y x one half is right here and y one fifth is well in here we will put negative two negative one this is this one we already have it because it's the vertex and then we will put one and two we put this number so we can get the other points the y and we can plot in the graph the parabola okay now the next step is to replace these numbers in the equation to get the, the y the y and so then we have this minus two so we, we put this in the equation Two, minus two squared plus two minus two plus one. We have in here it will be four times minus two, and here will be minus four plus one. Then we do this multiplication. Negative eight minus four plus one. It will be in here minus twelve plus one minus eleven. And uh, this one goes in here on the y. Uh, we do this with all the this. Now the final step is to plot this in the graph. So we will be minus two minus eleven. Minus two minus eleven is here. Then we have minus one minus three. Minus one minus three. Then we have this, it's a vertex already. One comma one. Yeah. Here and two times three, and you can see that we have a graph or parabola. Sorry, going this way, and you can draw a point. And the angle of the parabola is downward because of the side.